This is Mythbusters Jr. This myth promises to deliver two bangs for the buck and comes courtesy of the interwebs. That's two explosive urban legends featuring the same product, and that is spray air freshener. Now, in the first, an odiferous car sprayed full of air freshener by an overeager teen supposedly explodes when the car's interior light comes on. In the second, a slow leaking can causes a bit of a blow up when the owner tries to light a cigarette. So that is the myth. Can air freshener cause a car to explode? Which begs the question, just how flammable are spray can air fresheners? And do they contain one of Adam's least favorite things? Flammable gases are without a doubt the scariest thing that we dealt with over all the years of Mythbusters. Oh! We've lit cars on fire that got out of control. Three. Right, and I seem to remember losing an eyebrow at one point. Am I missing an eyebrow? Oh, okay, that was probably one of the stupidest things I've ever done. The thing about flammable gases is they're invisible, so when they're in a space, you don't know. And in replicating the stories about them, you often have to get this perfect storm mix of gas to oxygen to ignition, which means they're both dangerous and tricky to replicate. I dread flammable gases. The first job for Ali, Jesse, and Valerie is to test which one of these five off-the-shelf air fresheners may contain, you guessed it, flammable gas. And to make sure they don't singe any eyebrows, Mythbusters expert fabricator John Marcou has put together a test rig that's simple and safe. Stick one over here, you push it down, just like the sticker says, that lights your torch. Push down number two, that sends your aerosol, and flames firing up all the way into the ceiling. That sounds awesome. All aerosol cans use some kind of compressed gas, like propane or isobutane as propellants. Okay. The team hopes to ID the most flammable spray for this myth by measuring the height of the flames against a scale marked in two-inch increments. You guys ready? Yes. Okay, torch in three, two, one. Aerosol in three, two, one. Wow. Already the sweet smell of success. Air freshener number one was six pink lines up. So that's where I'm going to put our mark. Right there. That's one down and four more to go. All right, this is aerosol number two in three, two, one. Oh, that was pretty good. And what's good in real life always looks better on high speed. Okay, so I looked on the high speed for number two, and it was four pink lines down. Pretty impressive. It's a big difference from number one. In fact, the same amount of spray produced twice the flame. At this rate, their next attempt could burn the roof off. Air freshener number three in three, two, one. 